Welcome back to Family Gamer TV. Now we've been working through a lot of Trap Team, really getting our teeth into some of the content, seeing how it's sort of panning out as a whole game. Now, there's still lots more to find out and lots more figures. We'll be doing a big unboxing as we get the gaming through with you. But I just wanted to have a look now at the next level. Um, so we've just finished Willikin Workshop and we've just been wandering around um, the hub world here. I think it's time for us to head on to the next level, which is Time Town. So we've got Flynn. No time like the present, eh, Skylander? See what I did there? A little play on words. Anyway, I, w I won't try and impersonate the different characters because my impersonations are rather bad. Um, is that Cuckoo Clocker on this level? Looks like, looks like it is. There's only one villain, but it's, this, it's one of the ones on the big posters, so I think he's the main, a main character. I'm looking forward to seeing Time Town because bits I've seen of this looks beautiful and even from this opening scene the level of detail and sort of intricacy here has sort of really gone to town you've got you've got the feel that some of these levels have had real sort of joy and, and you know, love lavished on them it must have been great fun to put some of this together it just looks like a big sort of sweet shop full of detail maybe it's after the last few levels that I'm enjoying it because they've all been sort of purple and dark so Da Pinci it's glad to see us Keep this top secret. But then, yeah, Wolfgang has been causing trouble, so we're here, I guess, to potentially trap Wolfgang to work our way through the level. So, as ever, there's treasure to collect. And there's, there's a level of detail and the level of movement in the background has got a real sense of this sort of clockwork. You can see that from the distance, these things moving around, all the cogs in the front, as if it's all mechanical. It's really nice. This makes it feel like a sort of a place I just want to spend time exploring. So I put those in place. Oh, that's nice. And the cogs are all popping up. Reminds me a bit of my Mario Galaxy, if you play that. So there's Da Pinci. I'm going to carry on. So, what's that little house over there? I think I'm going to carry on up these cogs. Are they moving? So you've got to make sure you go around the right way. So I'm going to have to time this jump so that it's lined up. Pretty straightforward though, so here we are. And I was just looking at the, in the background, all these different cogs moving, there's a big clock down there. What's that? The whole, the whole scenery just sort of popped out. Whoa! Oh, oh that's nice, they're all like on little sticks as if they were all mechanically driven. And it does have that sort of steampunk feel to it. I remember earlier some of the cogs and buttons emitting steam. And look, some new enemies here. He's causing trouble. Oh, little helicopter guys. Nice, I can do some ranged attacks. Before I get down there, I can set off some of these bows. It really does make short work of them. Snapshot powered up. I don't get too close. There's some big pipes there. What are they for? So, where do I go now? I would say he's like sort of Italian, so he's saying, Are you saved at a pinch? Thank you. Now, let me show you something. Come this right away. I'm sorry for my accent. I won't carry on doing that. Um, oh, we meet again. To get into the clock, I can't resist it. You must solve the riddles of our steam clock, Wolfgang. Put them up that to keep us out. Here you will need this hammer. What's this? Is it a time thing? To press Y at the right time. I guess it's got to bash that. Oh, that's nice. You get a little blast of steam. There's two on this one. One, two. Is that it? Kind of. It said it was a puzzle. It wasn't particularly of a, much of a puzzle. It was just more of a challenge. Just a time. Look at that! That's so nice the way it all like it all sort of clicks back together, and it's like it's like a sort of a glass case over the top of this. I'm sort of walking on glass there, all the little cogs. Ah, oh, a minute before I get too carried away. We've got some enemies coming in there. I'm going to switch over to food fight. Give him a bit of a t bit of a time in the limelight. I like food fight, and of course the Frank case, Doctor Frank case. He's got, these, he's got quite a nice variety. Now he's a villain we trapped in the previous level. He's got that lightning attack and he's got this big sort of goo gun that he's got and he can attack. And he's obviously got the spin attack that we caused us so many problems because as you're spinning, you can't get attacked yourself. <laughs> Look at the goo, that's so cool. He's a sort of splat on, on the sort of scenery. I just like it. That electric um, shot, it actually reminds me of Bioshock Infinite, which obviously is a game for sort of older players. But that sort of electric attack that you could pull out from your hand as one of your vittles. Was it vittles or was it vigors? Or oh, I get I get uh, mixed up. Let's go. Shove us over. We switch back. I think our time must have run out. We switch back to food fight. Who's this guy? Florg. 
How many do I hear to get rid of the bad wolf guy? He does not understand the fragile and abstract nature of time travel. Time travel? Uh, yeah, so we've got some moving conveyor belts up here. Nice. It's just so great when the whole scene sort of pops up. You do so. Look at the little owl. His eyes go left to right. It's so cute. It's sort of grandfather clock. Really nice. This is. A, I think this is potentially my favourite level in the in the game so far. It's nice. What's that um, butterfly? Wing sapphire. Of course. Yeah. Wing sapphire. We've got a bunch of these. Got the charm. Two percent upgrade. Two percent discount upgrades. Always nice. Although I think probably fully upgraded our characters. But when we get some more characters in here. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry, food fight. Man, that's quick. I thought I could get through there. It's gonna be quick. Although we um can't upgrade ours. When we do upgrade any other characters, obviously that discount will apply and saves a lot of money, which can make a big difference, particularly when you're starting out and you want to get every last um, upgrade you can for your money. Let's try crankcase out again. I like the way I'm using these villains against against their comrades, comrades. Get on our side now. Uh, the twist puzzle there. Anything else to do first? No. Should we have to go that way? No. You go with the arrows, and it turns the cog. If we get up to the top, that will get us up here. No, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it slides back down behind us. Again, another one of these gates to time to get through. Uh, time to run out. So back to food fight. Switch over to him. I'm not quite sure why there's thimbles appearing as treasure. I'm not sure what. How does that? How does a thimble relate to? Clocks. We've got two guys here. Oh, he's just the guy for the elemental gate. So he's going to say, "So it's an earth gate, isn't it? A rocky area." And it, yeah. So we can't go in there. We've not got the right trap master. Okay, another of these. This looks. Like, this last time this was easy, so I don't mind doing these at all. One, two. I think it's going to get harder. Oh, also, I wonder what happened if I got it wrong. I wonder if I would have to go back. So it's pretty simple still. One, two, and three. That's pretty good. So we actually unlock that clock. Now the bit I like is the way it all pings back together. This is the same here. Look at this. It's crazy. It's like some sort of magic, like Jack in the Box in reverse. So, so we just put a different trap in. That would mean we could just test out well, who we've got in these traps. So is that a life trap we're putting in? Shield Treader, I mean, of course, with who we had earlier. Let's try a bit of Shield Treader. And when you put the trap in the portal, um, it means that that villain it comes in instantly. He's still on a timer, so you still only have him a short amount of time, but I think the fact that you put him in the trap, the game assumes that you want to play as him, which isn't a bad assumption, you know, that's probably likely what you do. Let's um, switch back though. What's that food? What's that big mushroom? Look at that little stage show up at the top. I'm going to look at that. Let's go to these guys first. It's like a little puppet show, what's happening? So there's a boat. boat. Whoa, there's some chains coming down. This isn't good. Uh, it's just tricking me to go and look at it, I think. And it triggers those enemies. I'm going to put these artichokes down on the ground, little grenades. I like doing that. And then you go over here and they walk over it and get splatted. Easy work. Easy work from food fight. You see? Oh, that wasn't easy. Whoops. Uh, okay, maybe it's not so easy. Mm. Oh, yes. But whenever I get into, a, into a, a, a jam with him, a jam, if you pardon the pun, um, I just back off and then just use that rocket, that tomato rocket. There we go, a bit of food. Thank you. I just think it's funny, if it's food eating other food, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Whoa, these guys, whoa, they've got big missile weapons. Whoa, hey, what are they even firing? They're like sort of corkscrews. That's not right. Oh, so I can't use my ranged advantage, they sort of come back at me. If I get rid of them quick though, they don't have a chance to fire. Whoa, what's he doing? He was firing like homing missiles. So a lot of these enemies, they're really quite powerful, but if you get in quick and dispatch them before they get going, um, that's another little block puzzle, pop these into the right place, um, you can deal with them quite quickly and it doesn't get out of hand. But if you leave them, obviously you get wave upon wave and the waves mount up and um, then you are, it's more of a challenge to get through it, as I say that. Oh, what's that? So that set that platform turning. So, I don't see anything else to do here. Let's switch though. Let's we'll try another trap. Let's get our water trap on with Chill Bill. I like Chill Bill. I thought that just being able to switch and free someone, then switch back. There's a nice sort of back and forth between him and the, um, the Skylander. 
so we need to go down down this cobblestone path to I guess onto that platform and things to do here. Quick before it goes, can I jump? Nice. Bit of pretzel. There's the radio that you can Yeah, oh, that's interesting. You can't pick up the food when you're a trap master. When you're a villain, I get my terminal right. Can I jump down? Whoa, that was close. What would happen if I actually fell off there? Now we go up to the top. What's going on here? I can't see what's going on. Hey, I can't see. Hey, well, the camera's gone all weird. This is that's no good. Whoa, oh, I blame the game. That was my fault. Uh oh, off oh, you. It reset me. Yeah, I wonder if this is going to work. So again, you know, this isn't the final build of the game. It's a it's a sort of a, an early-ish build, um, but one that's got all the levels in it. Looks like so. Get on the platform. So we go around. I'm just going to stand still this time. I'm not going to move. And that's maybe what caused the problem. There we are. I can see what I'm doing now. So let's follow this trail of money. Bit of food. Food eating food. Uh, can I shoot down here? I want to shoot him before I go down. Is that Wolfgang? Oh, that's Cuckoo, Cuckoo Clocker, isn't it? Is it? Look at his fists. He's. Oh, man. I think I better stay out of, out of range of him. I'm going to use my, my range weapons, although I can't I would do it if, it if I could get out of the way. Can you stay down here? Yeah, I'm going to switch. Now, can I freeze him? Can, I freeze, can you freeze the bigger villains? And then. He's going red. Is he going red? Yeah, he's frozen. That was nice. Yeah, so that, I like that sort of back and forth. So you use your villain to come in and do his special attack, and like something like freezing off to your chill build is ideal. And then you finish him off with food fight. I love that Tom and Tina food fight festival. If you don't know if you saw that video of ours, where at this, this town, I think it's in Spain, where they have a, a tomato growing festival in the town square, and they get bucket loads, uh, truck loads, in fact, of tomatoes. And Skyland, I think, sponsored some of that. It's a little sort of promotional thing. I thought it was really cute. It just looks like lots of fun. So, I've got a bunch of these on now. I've got this main guy. Let's switch back to Chill Bill. That's not really oh no, this, see this is what happens, you get wave upon wave, and now I've got two of these guys to deal with. And two in the distance, they've got their rocket launcher. I think i better switch back to Snapshot. Bring the main man. He's so cool. Snapshot was the first trap team, trap master, that I saw when they announced it at launch. Look at these guys with their rocket launchers. They go straight up, and they come straight back down. Uh, that's a cool weapon. There's lots of, see, now we can trap some villains and use them. Any enemy I see in the game, I'm always like, oh, I'd love to use that. It'd be great to have him, him in my arsenal. Whoa, the housing. He's got a good range, you know, it's quite a close combat attack. It lunges forwards and he moves forwards with it. So he can get you if you're not careful. So, if we can just draw a breath. Whoa, there's lots going on here. So press Y. Oh, yeah, here we are. So this is another of these timed puzzles. Two quick ones and a third. There's, it's going to get harder. So, ding, 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 nice, that's all right, and then this one, ding, oh, ding, oh, uh-oh, uh ding, 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 <laughs> so that should fold down, get another nice, one of these nice animations, I like this, it's cute, and it folds in, and we can carry on, get the food, always get the food, oh, that's a big door here, I guess I'm behind that, perhaps I should switch, Maybe not. Come on, snapshot. It's not hanging around. Owl Clock Gallery. What's this? There's a button. Oh, I've got, what? Oh, I've got a jump. I get it. More thimbles. I'm not sure what thimbles have got to do with clock making. Oh, so these rotate when you hit the button. So I can go up here. But I guess I really want to go through that swinging pendulum area at the top. That's gonna work. Oh, there's another button here. So I guess this button will then swing it. What will it swing around again? Nice. Neato. This is cool. I'd love to know how and where you guys and girls will play um, Trap Team. Will you play on your own? Do you play with siblings? Do you like it as a whole family? I like to get to go with my kids and we all play through it together, that first playthrough that we do at home. And it's like, I just really like seeing their reaction to it. And I think they quite like, well, they'll put up with me playing it with them. And we'll play it in co-op. We'll each have our characters and we'll sort of take turns. So when one character runs out of life and goes to sleep, then it's someone else's turn. It's quite a nice way. There we are, rescue chaos from the clock tower. 
done that. But what's Wolf going up to? That should do it. As soon as the big TikTok here yeah, bongs twelve. You poor dope. Well, that's not the right sort of voice, is it? Ah, uh, cool. So there you go. That's the end of that level. So this is the, if this is the first Family Gamer TV video you've seen, then do subscribe. We can let you know when we have others up, and we're going to be carrying on our coverage of Skylanders Trap Team. Mm -hmm.